Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in my classroom and it's day one, well actually it's technically day two of setup because as you can see I have already been in here. I came in two days ago, today is Wednesday, I came in here on Monday. I was only here for a couple of hours but basically all I did was unpack all of the boxes and organize everything just out on tables. There's nothing inside any of the cabinets yet. Basically, my job today is going to be putting everything away. I'm not gonna start decorating probably until maybe tomorrow, probably more this weekend. So most of today's job is just gonna be organizing, cleaning, and my goal is to have everything put away. So I'm just gonna take you through everything and then I'm gonna start a list on the board of things that I'm gonna do and then just slowly start checking them off. I do have a meeting at nine o'clock, so at nine o'clock I will have to leave and then come back. But basically, I'm just gonna start over here. And right here I have a trash pile started. These are all the boxes that I had and that I've unpacked. And then over here is just a pile of stuff that I need them to remove. So all of these chairs, this teacher desk, and then I'm slowly just piling things on here that I don't need uh, in the room. Uh, and then we're gonna pan this way. This piece of wood is actually going to be mounted on this wall at some point, I'm not sure when, and I'm gonna be using it to hang backpack hooks on so that I can have all of my students' backpacks just right here instead of out there. Also, the cubbies are gonna be used for book bins and binders, because we are an avid school, so we'll be using binders. I'm just gonna slowly come over here. This is kind of like my random pile, this table right here. Uh, just kind of like everything else is landing here. This area is my teacher area. It's probably not gonna stay this way. Uh, I don't know if that bookshelf will stay there. I did buy a new black bookshelf for actual books. So we'll see once that's built um, if this is actually going to stay here because I kind of like the idea of putting the black bookshelf right there instead and using this for student books maybe somewhere else. So that's not going to change. But this is basically like all of my stuff, like things that I, tech, that I personally use, like all my planning things and like my desk decor and just stuff that I call mine, I guess, and things that I've purchased and made. Uh, this is like all the stuff that I brought from home just now. Over here is kind of like, I don't know, just my crap. And then over here, just some more things that need to be organized. This is my library up here on these tables. And then these are like my little cloth bins that I need to organize things into this is kind of where all my flexible seating has landed kind of I mean it's kind of a mishmash of stuff um, but basically like chairs tables cushions they've all kind of landed here in the middle um, mostly furniture then over here we've got all the supplies okay all of this minus this box right here was already in the room so I need to go through and organize all of these supplies, things. There's a lot of manipulatives down here. I need to organize them and clean them up and do what I do. These are all composition notebooks, but I'm pretty sure these are all for like the whole grade level, not just for me. So I think that maybe some of the grade level stuff got stored in here for the summer. I'm not positive. These cabinets are all empty and need to be organized. These cabinets have right now the um, curriculum that I probably won't use, but I'm thinking I might move all of this from this cabinet to those cabinets since those are like kind of down and out of the way and these ones are more like accessible. I just might move all of this stuff over there so that I, it's just gone and not thought of. This is all stuff that was left here as well, so I just need to go through and organize slash put all these away. These are mine. I need to organize, put away. This whole thing is empty. All these drawers are empty except for the top one. I did put my signs in there, but all these drawers are empty, so that's a really awesome, uh, useful 
storage piece. Then coming this direction, we have more like bins that need to be organized and sorted and put away. And then this big old section here is all decor stuff. So things that need to be hung up, all of my like butcher paper and uh, stuff for bulletin boards, all of my posters, all my signs. This is all decor. These are gonna be spray painted. So those are there. And um, yeah, so this is all my decor section. So this probably won't get touched at all today. And then just random things that need to be organized. So like I said, big to do is just to start organizing things and putting things away. I did buy some bigger uh, crates from Walmart. I bought six of them. So I'm hoping that I can use these crates to put things that I will use, but not necessarily all the time, like supplies and things. And I plan to store them up here. So I plan to use the crates up here. I don't want to put like boxes up there. Like I want, I want up there to look nice. So I want to use these bins to store things up there. Anything else that isn't in those bins can go in the cabinets because I don't want them to be seen. Basically, I'm trying to make the least amount of clutter in this room as possible. I don't want things out if they don't need to be out. I want everything to be put away and gone. So, I think I'm gonna make, I think maybe I'm gonna move all of the curriculum first and just move it over there and that's gonna be task number one. And then after that, I think I'm going to sort through all of the supplies and put some of my things in new bins that I purchased and planned to re-store, I guess. So, enjoy the vlog. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do first was um, organize all the math manipulatives in the room. So basically everything up here is mine. Everything down here belongs to the school or district and same with these. So this is literally all <laughs> math manipulatives. So I think what I'm gonna do is just keep this whole thing math and if I get any other math things, I'll put them in here like all my teacher like Addition, my teacher additions and anything else anything else that is math related is just gonna live in here and uh, that'll work for me I do have some like other random little like things like these are student books that are probably gonna get in and I don't know if I'm gonna use them so like I said for now I'll just keep everything that's math in this cabinet and then I know exactly where it is Okay guys, so I just got back from my meeting and I wanted to show you what I've gotten done so far. So down here I have all of my paper, construction paper, lined paper, well most of the lined paper anyway, and then copy paper. And then up here I have like other paper and some notebooks. And then up there I have crayons, I think I showed you. That's the rest of my lined paper up there. So I'm gonna try and use these bins up here for like extra supply storage. Cause I know I'm gonna get a bunch of supplies on the first, like I think tomorrow even, maybe Friday. So I'm gonna use all of these bins to store all of that supplies up here. So I'm gonna do two, two, and two. And then I don't really know what will go up there, maybe like a decor piece or something. Um, and I've put all of my supplies that my students and I use in here. So like glue, scissors, markers, all of these green bins. I don't really like the way they look. So this is actually perfect for them. So this is where like the glue sponges and the scissors and everything, this is where this will be stored. And then I have my whiteboards under here. And these are going to be student portfolios eventually. So those are just hanging out right there. And so now I'm just kind of working on, I need to build my bookshelf so that I can put um, all of my library away. 
but it's slowly coming around and I'm realizing now that I really do have a lot of storage. So I'm just gonna start putting like these bins and these bins under here. I have not put anything under here yet. I went ahead and left the curriculum that was already here, over here, and I'm just gonna leave it there, it's fine. So this is all supplies that's gonna be like up for grabs, I'm gonna actually take it to the office. And yeah, so it's coming along. I think my next task is gonna be, I need to peel the numbers off of these cubbies because I'm gonna put new numbers on them. So I actually need like a razor blade and maybe some like, I don't know, it looks like it's coming off pretty easy. So maybe I'll save that for like a project. So I'm gonna just add it to my to-do list. But all the supplies that was here is now organized, which is awesome. All right guys, so some more things have been done and changed. So um, I moved these over here. They were over there and I just flip flopped them. I ended up putting my desk here and this little empty space is gonna be where my mini fridge goes. Um, this is gonna be my class library. This is gonna be my small group area and then that space right there is left open for the computer cart. This is gonna be where the backpacks are hung and then all of this wall space is like bulletin board worthy. So I think we're gonna do that. Um, I think I'm gonna put these down for the first week of school and just store them somewhere so that the kids don't fight over them or anything because these tend to be like a hot ticket number um, and they're actually just extra seats so I don't technically need them. They're just like extra. And then um, I've emptied out all of these black bins. So now those are empty. And I'm putting craft supplies in these one. I'm gonna put games and activities in this one. So just like any games I have. I decided to put this back up front under the whiteboard like I always do. Maybe under the smart board. I'm not pos probably not on the smart board because I'll be writing on that a lot. But um, I put all the like book bins and stuff over there because that's where I'm gonna keep like my group caddies and their book bins will be in the cubbies and stuff. So I just moved all of that over there. And then I'm not positive about this yet, but I'm pretty sure this is where my teacher toolbox will be. And then I'm not gonna use this as an inbox this year. I'm gonna actually use it as like a grading thing. So once they've turned it in, I will put them in the slots for grading. And then this is gonna be all my STEM and STEAM materials supplies have like straws and cups and like two of them are actually empty so that's great and those are going to be stored under here so I'm making a lot of progress most of the stuff that's still out and about is just decor so that will all be placed once everything else is like organized and put away so this is empty this is going to be like projects things I need to do so like I need to spray paint those. I need to like cut things and erase things. Just like random things I need to do. So I think I might take a break and go to lunch because I'm kind of at a, ooh, do I have like sweaty pits? Hmm. I don't think the air conditioning is on in this room uh, cause it's hot. Oh, I forgot to mention, I put my little resource library right there. And then this up here will be like professional things um, and my like picture books and chapter books that I like to keep really nice and like safe. And yeah, it's kind of what's going on in here. So, um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to stop because I'm kind of at a point where I'm like wandering and trying to like figure out what to do. So I think I'm going to take a break, come back and just keep organizing, maybe get my desk area situated because that is a whole nother thing. I'm using these filing cabinets as like my desk, like I'm putting all my supplies and like my things that I use in here just because it's like perfect and close. And then I will move this one up front. So I'll have that up there for like my teaching station, stuff that I keep over there. Cause I have like two different teacher areas. I have my teacher teaching area, which is up there. 
And then I have like my area back here, which is like really not purposeful. I guess I can sit there and like grade and whatever, but yeah. So I think my friend Hannah and I are gonna go to Chipotle. Also, I bought this bookshelf from Walmart. It was $25 and it's got five shelves. So I think that'll be perfect for my class library and like all the dictionaries and you know, stuff like that. So yeah, super exciting. Okay, so I'm starting to forget what I've shown you guys and what I haven't shown you guys. So I started putting all these things away. I don't know if this is all gonna stay here, but I'm just putting it there for now because I, I'm ready to like start decorating and I wanna start doing that tomorrow. So uh, the tables aren't where they're going to be. Uh, what I'm thinking is I'll do three round tables in the back. I'll do two floor tables on each side and then the tall one in the middle. And then I think I'm gonna do my rectangular tables across the front, like kind of like in a row, I guess, kind of like maker space um, with this one being a standing table option, like maybe raising it one smidgen. And then this one's kind of smaller. So right now I'm able to sit four, eight, 12, 17, 22, 27, and I have right now 26 students. So that doesn't include my bar tables. And then I also decided to use my little black coffee tables as my small group table. I'm gonna probably spray paint the top of these um, once I get the spray paint out because they look really bad. Um, either that or I thought about even finding like a black tablecloth and throwing it over that because I just hate the way that looks. It looks so like no good. So I think that's the plan and then I have a naughty desk over there. <laughs> I do have another desk right here that I'm probably going to put right by the door under the fire extinguisher as like, you know, where the bathroom sign out and stuff is going to be. So I'm not positive if that layout's going to work for me. It might. I might put that smaller table over here by the window, like diagonally, just so that, I don't know. I just feel like, and I like the idea that there's going to be four kids at these tables and then five here, because I didn't want to have like six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups. And that's before using these and stuff like that. So I have six groups. Some groups have four, some groups have five. And then um, I have like lap desks and stuff still too. So yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited. It's coming along well. Like I said, these are gonna be taken up to the office and you know, I'll get rid of those. I also moved this stuff up over here so that it's ready because this is going to be like my teaching center. Uh, just where I teach from. Well, like keep my stuff for teaching from because I don't just stand there. So that is the room so far. It is basically 3 o'clock and I feel like I've gotten a lot done today. And like I said, the bulk of tomorrow is probably going to be starting to decorate and like put decor around and I'm trying to decide, I'm thinking about doing this entire wall with black butcher paper and just making it like all black and then putting like colorful decor on it. But I don't know yet, I might just do bulletin boards and call it a day. I know a lot of people have been doing like the wood paper, which I do have, I have two different kinds, but I think I'm not gonna do an entire wall, I think that's just too much for me and I would probably do it terribly, to be honest with you. So I think I'm just gonna do bulletin boards and call it a day, but I might do an entire wall of black butcher paper just because I feel like that's endless and it's free. So, yep, tomorrow that's the plan. I ended up having some extra pencil sharpeners. So I have three pencil sharpeners and a crayon sharpener, which is awesome. So I'll have those kind of all over the room. And 
yeah, super exciting. They did come and drop off our math or our math program, and that is currently in my teammates' room. <laughs> All of these, but um, they have to come. Each teammate has to come and pick up their students. Um, like enough for their class and then this won't be in here. So this is her room. She hasn't been here yet. She's coming tomorrow. So tomorrow is the official first day back for all the other teachers. So it'll be fun. We're gonna do some PD in the morning and then uh, we'll have like the rest of the afternoon after lunch to work in our rooms. So I think I'm gonna get here at seven again and work until eight and then go to the meetings and then um and then i will come in here and finish i'm hoping that this stuff will be gone tomorrow that would be really awesome and if it's not i may push it over there to where the backpacks are going to be just so that it's out of the way and i can place my tables where i want them because I feel like that is why I'm not feeling like it's done, I guess. Well, not done, but like a lot is done, I guess. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, that's my spiel. Happy first official day. Well, second official day setting up. Yay!